back. Uh, it's gonna be a little video. I'm not making anything in this one. It's gonna be an update video of what's been happening over lockdown and what's coming in the future. So first up, I wanna say a big thank you to AIP Welding Supplies. You can see their banner in the background. They've been supporting me for about a year. Um, supplied me with a one of their own brand uh, MIG welders called the Pirate. Absolutely brilliant bit of kit. Um, recently launched their own uh, branded welding helmets as well. Absolutely fantastic bit of kit. Loads of different settings in there for sensitivity, shade, delay, and um, switch it between welding and grinding if you want to. And it's got the, I think it's called the True Color um, lens in there. So you can see so much before you start welding. Brilliant bit of kit. If you're interested in anything like that, just give AOP a shout, uh, give them a call, check out the website, social media, anything like that. Now, the new welding helmet came at a good time for me because I bought myself a new van. Basically, my Vivaro that I've had for about five years, uh, fuel pump decided to die on it, and it just wasn't economical to repair it. I do the work myself, but parts-wise, time, everything like that, it just wasn't worth doing. It's, it got to the point where the van was breaking more than I was driving it. So I've gone out and I've got myself a Volkswagen T25, a nice old Volkswagen van. It's in perfectly with the kind of work that I do. Now, that's why the welding helmet is coming very handy, because it is an old Volkswagen, so it's a bit rusty. I'll chuck a few pictures in of some of the welding repairs I had to do on it. Now, as well as the welding repairs, I've done some extra bits and bobs to it. I'll, um, I'll chuck a few little bits of video in of the van in a minute, um, so you can see that and let me know what you think. <laughs> This is a new van. I agree it fits in better with what I do rather than the old heat Vivaro. Uh, heat vault, I can still. Uh, it will end up a different colour. Uh, I'm probably going to go yellow with it to be honest. But I've had to replace all this weather white spray paint is there. That's all been replaced. Um, Obviously, fitted air ride to it. Yeah, suspension needed replacing anyway, and it costs that much more to get an air ride kit, so I just went for that. Makes it life a lot easier welding the loading the welder into it, loading sculptures into it, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's all new in round there. All in underneath the arches is new. Uh, made some clearance for the front suspension. Just need to. All I need to do on it now is. Uh, Make some brackets for the front to drop the front a bit more and raise the rear mount and get it a little bit lower. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Uh, if you want to see any videos featuring the van, any work I'm doing on it, just let me know and um, I'll think about doing that as well. Now what have I got coming up? So hopefully a few of you will have seen the episode on, of Scrap Kings on Quest that I was on. Um, hope you enjoyed it if you saw it. I've had a few commissions come in off the back of that, how, which is fantastic. So it's come, I'm coming back into the workshop after six months off because of this COVID crap and I'm coming back into three or four decent sized commissions straight away. First commission that I'm going to be doing is a Staffordshire Bull Terrier dog, full size Staffy sculpture, which I can't wait to get going on. Uh, I've got another dog to do after that one, so I've got a German Shepherd uh, and a few other bits and, pieces, bits and bobs, little bits and pieces in between and another larger sculpture to do as well after those. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, you want to see more of what I do, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Other than that, have a good day.